Hey, welcome to the second video in VLOOKUP series. In previous video on VLOOKUP, we came to know different ways of using VLOOKUP. We learned how we can set our lookup value and lookup array dynamic. And even we can choose between the two different lookup arrays. But can we have multiple lookup value while using VLOOKUP function? The answer is yes. We definitely can. For those who are directly coming to this video of VLOOKUP series, go to playlist and watch its previous part completely. So here we have a table before us and I want to look for a value in the table for which code is 23 and the reason is central, right? So I'm looking for multiple lookup value here. How to do it? I will show you two different ways to achieve this. First, with the help of a helper column and second, using the array nature of Excel with choose function. So let's start with helper column method. So I have already inserted a column for helper column here. In this helper column, I will be applying formula. So I will be concatenating this code and the reason column together. Instead of enter, rather press control enter and the same formula will be copied throughout and now and now i will search this concatenated string instead since i will be looking for this concatenated string in helper column therefore my lookup array will have this column as the first column of lookup array say i want to fetch total corresponding to this code and the reason let us apply we look up here my lookup value will be this ampersand this lookup array will be column index since I want to return total so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 exact match and enter now let us come to the array method to achieve the same result this time we don't need any helper column and whatever we have done in the helper column that will be done and remembered automatically by the excel memory instead see how let us apply formula here look a value will again be this ampersand this and my table array i will be setting this table array with choose function open curly bracket and enter five indexes one two three four five close the curly bracket now these indexes are representing my different arrays that i'm going to put here corresponding to index number one i will create an array joining or concatenating code and reason so this is my first array second is sales rep third is pencil fourth is unit and last is so i have set up my table array so how that table array will look in the back end you can see here the first array that i have concatenated by code and reason is 28 east then jones then pencil then 95 950 and so on so out of this we are going to return our total value so in this array my total value is at column index number what these two will be treated as one one two three four five five and then the exact match and here we will stop since we are using the array nature of an excel formula we need to press Control shift enter instead and not enter that's it now move on to the next topic that is say i want to extract all data for eastern region or western region like this if i'm selecting east then this all east values will be filtered if central these all will be filtered let's see how now you must know that vlookup does not do such kind of extraction natively but with the help of a helper column we can achieve this as well see what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select it and i will assign count value to each data in the reason column so this ampersand and i have to attach a count value so i will use count if function i will count what i will count b6 
B six I will lock it two B six again and I have to count what B six again so by this way I have assigned a count value to each of the data each one each two like this now it's a cake walk for us now we have to look up for the data in helper column and populate this blank table see how so let us apply we look up formula here we look up look up value will be this fix it concatenate it with one two three four so to do that we just uh, we will not do it manually but create some formula here i will do it with rows function rows what does this rows function do it returns the number of rows in a reference or array so this is i9 i'm at i9 i9 fix it i9 to i9 in between i9 to i9 there are only one row so it will return central one comma not table array table array will be this one that we have created and for column since i uh, ret want to return reason that is this uh, po uh, positioned at column 2 3 4 i have to return 2 3 4 5 like this not 1 2 3 so i will use and i will drag it to the right so i will be using columns function like the rows function it returns the number of columns in array or reference again i9 fix it and i9 to if i make it i9 to i9 then it will return one so i will make it to j9 and my match will be exact and press enter now i can drag it down to both side oh wait i have to get rid of this uh, hashtag not available error as well so we need to just wrap it with an if error function so if it is error then return a blank string now i can drag it down similarly so now if i change it to east it will extract east and if i select west then it will extract west so that's it in this video see you in the next part of the vlookup series thanks for watching